Mark Riley from Limerick Post and I'm outside the middle market at the moment and I'm heading to Launchpad to talk to one of Limerick's up and coming rock bands. Hi, I'm joined by Raging Sun, Synth Rock Band and I have Adam Reeves with me here. Uh, lads, so thanks for having us. How are you feeling? Good Mark, how are you? Good now, um, thanks for having us. Uh, just quickly, so you're back doing gigs. Um, it's been a long two years, year and a half for everybody. Uh, what's it like and what's your next gig and how are you look forward to it? Yeah, we're over the moon. We, um, we're playing Doran's Wales on November 6th. Um, we have an album coming out October 22nd. So yeah, it's amazing to be able to launch it with a gig in our hometown, you know? Perfect. Uh, the album's 2020, I believe, is it? 2020, yeah. And how long did it take? What's gone into it? and how excited are you for to be launched? Yeah, it's a long time coming. Um, we started recording in December 2019. It's due to be out like summer 2020, so that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, we're delighted to, to finally be able to show it to people and we're like be able to start working on something new. I think we're all sick to death of listening to the same songs over and over, you know? Absolutely. Um, so just to jump to Fintan, um, what is the main message from the album? What's your favourite song from the album? And <laughs> hey, pressure's on. <laughs> and uh, just what, what what message would you give to fans, anyone who's going to purchase the album? Uh, uh, I think, well, I think we all have personal favourites, you know. Um, I wouldn't like to sing, single anyone out, you know, so I'm going to say you have to listen to it. And, uh, and cool. let me know what your favourite song is. <laughs> but um, yeah, I suppose... Um, oh, geez, I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> just favourite, favourite song, if you have one. That's a lot of pressure, but if you have one on top of the head, and the message of the album, what, what do you think the album speaks to fans? Um, the message of the album, I suppose, like I've always said, like we're like a f fundamentally a rock band, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think high energy, Joe. It's all about the live shows. I think we've always said like we excel in the live situation, you know. So that's why we want people to come on the sixth of November in Dolan's Warehouse. Plug it in there. Like. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I, I suppose like I've always said, you know, when it comes to like the message, is um, I'd like people to take whatever they want to take from it, you know. Like if they can connect with it in their own way, that's more important than me telling them what to take from it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So I think like the main thing for us is for people to hear it, get their ears around it, and hopefully they enjoy it. Brilliant. Um, and just, I suppose, generic question, how often are you recording here? Uh, how long are you recording here? And is it hard juggling other things with the recordings or how do you get on? Yes, I think recording was, we spent a lot of time, I guess, listening to recordings we've done because we could only record at random with lockdowns and, and that kind of thing. Um, I think now kind of the pressure is on. Now the album is done. The pressure is on in terms of recreating that sound live and trying to do it justice mm -hmm. because we put so much time and effort into an album. We're all really proud of it. That we want to make sure this show when the live show is as good as it should be. You know, absolutely. Yeah, uh, it's good to hear. And I suppose what's the support been like? What, what, like, have you gotten much feedback so far? And if so, off who and what have they thought about the upcoming album? Has anyone gotten a sneak peek or um, have you kept it under wraps? You know, we've, we've only started kind of recently sending out kind of um, exclusive listens to people, kind of close people that have helped us along in the last 12 months. But uh, no, the feedback has been has been really good so far. Um, like we started this whole process a year ago. We actually released tonight the first single 12 months ago to the day pretty much. And um, like I have to say that there's been no negative comments or no negativity towards us at all like which has been kind of crazy because i think we all kind of expect this a little bit you know yeah that, um, well, in this day and age yeah like, so like expects it, exactly yeah. yeah so um no i mean it's been it's been really good like it's been really enjoyable um kind of getting our, our teeth into the kind of promotion of the album and and doing stuff that maybe wouldn't necessarily do if covid wasn't around you know mm -hmm. we would have been out gigging we would have been kind of working the country you know whereas now we've kind of been able to focus on like the marketing promotion of the band, like our, like how we represent ourselves along with doing like videos and stuff yeah. like that and online content and stuff. So like, I mean, it's been like, it's been a tough 12 months, but it's been kind of positive as well. Joe, I think it's developed us as a band, as a brand and like as a, as a business, if you want to call yeah, it that. Yeah. I hate to call it that, but it is at the end of the day. That's exactly what it is. Um, but I think, uh, I think it's like oh, when I was interviewing Adam uh, before, it's kind of, that's what we were talking about. It's like, it goes one or two ways for many people. A lot of, like a lot of people struggle. You can sink or you can just make the best of it and kind of take all the positives. So have you been like have you up the recording? Has it halted recording or like how have you dealt with it on a daily basis? And when it initially started, when the lockdown initially started, did you like 
did you try to sneak to each other's houses or was there anything you were trying no. to do to you just not allowed so you literally so like when did you start kind of getting back into the studio and get rolling again um well it was very stop start so like we started recording and this was it december 2018 2019, 2019, Jesus, yeah. 19, yeah, or 2021 now, and you're 2021 now, and you're 2020. <laughs> See, that's what it does, yeah. But um, yeah, so like it's been, it's been, it's been tough, you know, like with restrictions and all that. Like we were recording above in um, in Lakeland Studios, mm. Monkey Dowd in Athlone. So like the first couple of couple of months was all good. We were up and down, and we were like planning, to, like Adam said, planning to release the album like that summer, which would have been 2020. And um, because of restrictions, we couldn't get the album finished and. It's kind of been like a day here, a day there, and Joe, like, yeah. when, like they were only allowing like maybe one or two into the studio at a time, so we couldn't get in as a band. So we were kind of doing all that kind of post production stuff either from home or, or one of us in the studio. So it's been difficult. Like I said, it would have been released maybe a year ago only for that. But in a way, like Adam said as well, like it's, it's been a good thing, Joe. We've had time to kind of um, listen to the songs and kind of take out what we didn't like and maybe change it to something that we did like. and. Joe really kind of fine tune them, and I think that our sound developed as well over that period. Joe, where we kind of focused very much on what we wanted to sound like. I think that if we went into the studio and recorded an album, it would have been a very much a mixed bag, and it is a bit of a mixed bag. But I think that there's kind of fundamentals running through the whole album. Joe, there's like yeah. little signatures that tie everything together, and if you listen to it, then you'll understand what I'm saying because it's like one body of work. It's not just song, 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 song. Like there's something that links everything together. And like with the with the title twenty twenty as well, there's kind of a hidden message behind that. We won't give too much away, but we want people to listen to it, you know, yeah, and, and take what they what they can from it, you know. Brilliant. Um, I suppose how did you get together? How did you form? Where like <coughs> how how long has it been? And I suppose what's what's gotten you to this point? And did you think you get to this point? I think yeah, we we've been together for a couple of years, and um, we it, like we broke up. I won't point that. We broke yeah. up because we couldn't. I think about life tension. and <laughs> tension, yeah, yeah, I mean, look, and, you know, differences. <laughs> but no, but no, we broke up, because I think, like, to be honest, we life got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but no, life got in the way, work got in the way, and I think yeah. we all, it was almost upsetting us that we couldn't get done what we knew we should get done, we could get done, so we said, look, we pack it in. I really didn't talk to each other for a couple of months, and then myself and Saints met out one night, and we're like, look, let's have one last half after this right? do you know what I mean? We kind of we owe it to ourselves. There was a lot of really good material there. Um, and so yeah, we said, look, let's go to the studio and do a song, see how it goes. And as Fintan said, we had a new sound, like a new sound came out of that studio. Something that I think we hadn't we never would have expected from ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, okay, look, let's now apply that same sound, those same principles to the rest of this body of work. And yeah, it's been been a crazy journey, a journey to say yeah, the yeah, least, yeah. For sure. And uh, I suppose, okay, actually, just run through quickly for those who don't know. Uh, I'll just go name quickly and your role in the band. Uh, Damien, I play bass. Fit to in, singer. And Adam, I'm the drummer. And Colin, guitar. Adam, the finger pointer as well, <laughs> uh, evidently. <laughs> so I believe you've an uh, album launch in the commercial on the 22nd. Can you tell us a little bit about that and the excitement surrounding it? Yeah, so yeah, that's really cool because at least tonight the restrictions are lifted as well. So downstairs in the commercial, October twenty second, um, we're doing a run through the album. Um, a little bit of a sing song, a couple of pints, a couple, and, uh, a couple. couple of pints, handy few pints, like. Um, yeah, brilliant. Portrait. It's um Adam's birthday as well the same night, so he'll have more than a couple of pints. <laughs> yeah. it could it could get reckless. So I have to bring a birthday card as well. And, uh, <laughs> just but it's, it's a free in as well. Do you mean it's just kind of inviting anyone along just to kind of listen to the album? Really and we could talk about each of the tracks and yeah. yeah. And quickly, just I suppose Dolan's have supported you, and you've gotten support locally. What would you would you like to thank them or any any words on Dolan's? Yeah, Dolan's have been unbelievable. In fairness, like venues around the country are chock a block now. The last eighteen months of people not gigging, so to get to play at a warehouse so soon after restrictions are yeah. lifted, right after the album comes out. In fairness, and they've really done us. A favor there, you know, um, and yeah, we're really like really excited for that one. It's gonna be, it's gonna be savage. Brilliant. Well, I speak for all of us, um, all us fans waiting on the album. I think we're all excited, and it's just uh, fair play to you. And I hope it goes so well. And I'll, uh, I'll be the first man to download it, and I might tag along for a few points. Who knows? <laughs> but raging sons, thank you for having us, and we wish you the best with the album. Cheers, Cheers, thank you. Cheers.